Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. I'm Joey McWilliams. Today on the summit, we get to talk about an upcoming event to be held at Friends University. The Kansas City Chiefs are going to host a high school football event on campus in Wichita at Friends. It's going to be an 11-on event that is powered by Nike. I'm visiting today with Dale Faber, who is the Assistant Athletic Director for Development, former men's basketball coach at Friends. You might know him from that role as well. And Coach, tell us a little bit about what is going to be happening. It's coming up this Friday. Yeah, the, the Chiefs are bringing their organization down, and it's, uh, you know, we're, we're the host of uh, – the Kansas City Chiefs and the Nike product that they're putting on the field. They have eight high schools coming in. Um, right. And, uh, you know, it's uh, called the Lebanon event. And I think what, what they do is each high school brings their own team in. And then the, the, the Chiefs are actually the host of the event. And they're, they, the same time they have their games going on, they'll also have a combine uh, with two other teams at the same time and doing all their tests and measurements and, and all that. And I think uh, the focus of the situation is um, not only be good athletically, but uh, be a good person at the same time. It sounds like a fun event, a great thing for high schools to come out at any time. I know that the, the Kansas City Chiefs are involved. Obviously, that would be something that would draw some attention to an event as, as they're hosting this. Uh, some of the things I've read about it, too, learning some of the, uh, the ways to get in better shape, having the opportunity to get some play in, but really focusing on, on team play even more so than just the individual. Yeah, it's a um, you know, it's a team sport. And I think it's uh, the focus of it is uh, um, make sure you're doing what, what you can be doing for your teammates. And, and that's on and off the field. And there's, uh, you know, there's definitely some, some teaching that goes on in that area. And then uh, it's also being a good teammate and how to, uh, to keep yourself in better shape and, and what's good going in your body and uh, how to, uh, maintain a level of competitiveness, all with a focus on how you're helping your team. Now, it's going to be a free event to attend, so folks who want to come out and watch this, we'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a moment. In the meantime, the Chiefs are going to have the Lombardi Trophy on display. You know, Kansas City won that Super Bowl just uh, just a little while ago and was back in it recently, too. The Chiefs are, are doing well right now, so lots of Kansas City fans, including my wife, who is a big Chiefs fan. They're excited about that. So the Marty Trophy is going to be on display for some photo opportunities. And the Greater Wichita Area Sports Commission is going to have some autographed items on auction to be able to raise some funds as well. Yeah, I think the Greater Wichita Sports Commission is, uh, they'll have a, a tent out here that's a rehydration tent. And they'll, they'll take care of all, all the players who, uh, you know, it's... Um, you know, in, into June, so I think the weather's going to cooperate a little bit. It's not going to be as hot as it, it possibly could have been. But <laughs> uh, uh, the sports commission is doing their re rehydration tent, and also the Chiefs and uh, uh, are helping them out with some auto autograph memorabilia. And I'm sure the sports commission has some other items that, that they're bringing along, and uh, uh, so they'll uh, auction those off. And, and all of that money goes directly to uh, uh, the victims of the Andover tornado. So that's a good thing. The, uh, the Super Bowl trophy, now that, that, that's a project now. You, uh, <laughs> that thing has to, uh, uh, I've, I've learned through the process, that thing has to be secured the whole time. So um, uh, they have to have... Uh, um, like it has to be guarded. So even on the bus ride down here from Kansas City, they'll, they'll have to have a security guard with with that trophy. And um, when it gets here on campus, you know, there'll be plenty of uh, photo opportunities, but there's going to there's gonna be uh, somebody in uniform lurking pretty closely to the trophy. So uh, I would imagine. Um, yeah, and I just, uh, I'd never put it all together like that, but it seems... Um, uh, you know, it's a, it's a pretty fun event, and I know uh, young and old, the opportunity to get a, get a 
photo with with that trophy, especially coming as uh, you know the Chiefs being the champion two years ago. So uh, it's a pretty big deal. Well, it is a big deal. It's going to be happening on campus at Fringe University in Wichita. We're speaking on the summit today here on Midwest Sports Net. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. We'd appreciate that. Uh, we talk a lot about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. As we're visiting now with Dale Favor, former men's basketball coach, current assistant athletic director for development at Friends. And coach, you're one of four people, by the way, as we have you on, that uh, – we have found out very recently you're going to be inducted into the Friends University Athletic Hall of Fame this year. So congratulations for that honor as well, and it's a privilege to have you on the show. Well, I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, I, I know there's probably some people that have demanded a recount. But, <laughs> uh, you know, I think I think it might stick. We'll, we'll see. But uh, uh, October 14th, we'll have the banquet and uh, home, homecoming weekend and that sort of thing. So. It'll be exciting and, uh, you know, uh, to, to be honored like that from Friends University uh, after, so quickly after the end of my coaching career is uh, pretty special for myself and, and my family. Well, Coach, let me ask you one more thing about that then really quickly. 299 career victories and, and you were on the sidelines uh, with Friends for 18 seasons, so nearly two decades at the helm. Uh, talk about what it means to be there in a pro, not not just coaching that long, but at the same program for 18 years, and and uh, maybe something you remember. Well, the the thing about it is, um, with with me, I have coached kindergarten through Division One basketball, and uh, I never had to leave my hometown, so. Uh, that that's pretty special and it just doesn't happen in coaching that way where you don't have to disrupt your family and yeah. move from spot to spot. So, um, I'm just pretty blessed in that area. And when I got the opportunity, you know, uh, it's 19 years ago now with Dr. Biff green helping me out. Uh, he was president at that time and, and decided uh, that I might uh, be the man that could lead the program in the next few years. And, I guess it kind of stuck for 18 and, um, you know, it's, um, you know, again, it was just a blessing that, uh, I could hang in there that long and still in, in my hometown with, with people I knew every, every night coming to games and that, that sort of thing. So, um, I've been pretty lucky in the world of coaching and, uh, had a great family that supports me and, uh, and we're moving forward now and I still get to help. Uh, the young people in athletics, uh, maybe not as directly, but I get to help a lot more of them. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's still an honor to be associated with Friends University. Well, it's a privilege, sir, again, to have you on the broadcast today. And as we wrap up our time, let me, uh, you, you were talking about eight teams, Andover Central, Derby, Hutchinson, Mays, Platt, Wichita East, Wichita Northwest from Kansas, and also Lee Summit North from Missouri coming in to be a part of this event, which is going to take place on Friday, and that is June 10th. It'll be 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. It is free to attend, so, Coach, invite the folks to come out. Hey, we'd, we'd love to see everybody. It's uh, Riverfest time down here in Wichita. We're only a mile from all, all the goings-on downtown. Um, concession stands open, but but also the, the Chiefs are, are bringing down their um, – trailer that they have of um, just interactive games and stuff for all the young kids who um, and they can come in and and you know it's basically like a semi they can come in and they walk through it and uh, be able to learn uh, different things in there not only about the chiefs but also uh, about taking care of themselves as an athlete and there's uh, usa football will be here also putting on a um, little clinic for uh i think kids nine to 14 somewhere in there but it's it's free also so uh the little ones are going to be getting coached up too and then and, and it's free also so uh it's going to be a good event well coach it sounds like it and uh we're looking forward to talking about that even more again this friday june 10th 9 a.m to 5 p.m on the campus at fringe university and everyone is invited to come out free. It's summertime. Hopefully the weather cooperates. 
uh, in in early to mid June, and you're, you're going to enjoy yourself. Kansas City Chiefs hosting this 11 on event powered by Nike at Fringe University. Coach Dale Faber, it's a privilege again to have you on the program today. Thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the summit and and pre- previewing and promoting this event. Joey, I appreciate it. It's been uh, it's been my honor, and I appreciate everything you guys do for small college sports. It means a lot. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.